Hello everyone, I'm Yanni from bu for You Gaming and today we are back in Smooshy Come Home. So last time we kind of went through the first little area which I think is kind of like a little little introduction prologue thing, right? But now we are in this area which with the big Chinese lanterns over there and it looks like there's something up there. Uh, did we go over here last time? Oh, 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 we could actually hang on to that. I wasn't <laughs> That for that. Oh, there we go. Okay, because we did go up there to those little uh, daisies, I think they're called. Uh, but we haven't been up here. Oh, there's something. Oh, hello. Yep, there we go. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, so we got a little bit more of these. Oh, there's one. There's, oh, there's two down here. Oh, there's so many of them. Well, there was also at least a couple of achievements for finding a lot of crystals, so I guess we are gonna have to look out for those. But I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna focus that much on achievements in this playthrough. I'm just gonna, just gonna play and enjoy it. Uh, there we go. I'm sure by now, you know, the game came out in June or July or something, so I'm sure by now someone else has made uh, an achievement guide. Uh, for those of you who might be after that, so I am just gonna kind of enjoy the adventure here um, and not necessarily go out of my way for stuff like that, even though when it comes to hoarding, uh, that's just that just comes naturally to me. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at that. You found a tool of writing. Oh, pointy. It makes me feel academic. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, I wonder what we're gonna be writing. There's a big flower down there. Uh, oh, maybe it has to go over there, even though it looks like it should be yellow flowers in that. Can I do anything with this? Oh, we can jump on it. Oh, look at that. He, I like it. Oh. Oh, look at that. They kind of, uh, it rains from them. They rain uh, dust of some kind. I'm not sure that's so healthy, but we are a little mushroom, right? So I don't think it's going to hurt us in any way. Okay, so now we have these little flowers. Um, it doesn't look like we can interact with them, even though it seems like that would be the kind of flower we would want to put in here. So, oh, there's one here. Ha ha. Okay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how do I actually... Oh, I just press E. Nice. Look at that. Oh, what is this? You found a spore of energy. I feel a strong energy from within. It also, it's sticky. Uh, okay. Interesting. I wonder what we're going to need that for. Ooh, okay, but we fixed our first shrine, so that's cool. Let's just grab some more of these. I don't know what we're going to need them for. Oh, hello. Look at you. <laughs> Aw, so cute. Oh, oh my. Another mushroom species. Uh, yes. It is I. And what species are you? The smushy species, I guess. Smushy species? This is a new one for me. I must record my findings. But alas, I can't do anything without, without a new writing tool. What do you mean? Well, I'm a mycologist, you see, and I record my research of mushrooms in my journal, but I'm unable to record any data. How come? My writing tool has withered away, it seems. Oh, well, actually, I found this earlier. Seemed important, so I picked it up. You can have it, though. Holy mushroom! You've saved me, little smushy. With this, I can continue my research, and as my thanks, I'll share this with you. Behold, the mucology journal. The who what? Listen carefully, smushy. Every time you come in contact with a new mushroom, a new entry will appear in your journal, and you can read each entry to learn about that mushroom. Sound pretty neat and kind of magical. Hmm, but I do like magic. I've never been able to learn more about my kind. There is much to discover, little smushy. So go out there and learn about your amazing species. Ooh, so cool. Uh, oh, okay, so we have a new page. Oh, look at that. Nice. 
So how do I... Okay, it does say new. Okay, you kind of have to activate it by going to it. So away from it and back to it. So Mycena hematopus. Ah, that's the red ones that were kind of raining dust on us, right? About this mushroom, although there are several pinkish Mycena species, this one is rather special. If the flesh is cut, uh, a dark red blood exudes out. Ooh, that doesn't look sound good. Thus giving this mushroom the nickname Bleeding Mycena. Like most fungi, this species is saprotrophic, meaning it obtains... Yes, obtains nutrients from decomposing organic matter. Uh, Smushy notes, these things ooze out red liquid when cut. I'm fascinated and terrified at the same time. <laughs> ah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we got that. Uh, oh yeah, I do see your writing tool. There was not much left to it, right? But it would actually be a fitting size for us. This little pencil here. So how do you know so much about my kind? Ah, great question, Smushy. There I was, lost in this giant library. All of the books were damaged or completely destroyed, but I stumbled across a book of mycology. I couldn't believe it. Completely undamaged and readable. I must have spent months in that library studying this book. So you're like a walking mushroom genius. <laughs> my knowledge of mushrooms may be vast, but my fieldwork is still inexperienced. So I travel around the forest in search for new mushroom knowledge. Oh, cool. I hope you find mushroomies on your um, mushroom quest. Thank you, Smushy. Aww, I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. This is just so adorable. Look at that. I love the details also with the little mushrooms um, in the backpack, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, but I kind of wanted to see now that we found our first shrine, if this person over here has anything new to say before we move on. So what happened to the other shrines? Their flowers have lost their way, but I know they're out there somewhere. We just have to look carefully. I'll keep my eye out for them. Okay, so do you have anything more? I'm going to keep watch of this remaining shrine. I don't want anything to happen to it. Okay, so I think that's kind of the end of that conversation. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just move along here. Hmm, so we got that shrine. Can we get up there maybe? Maybe. Okay, let's just keep looking down here. Oh, there's a sign over here. Ancient passage. Forest entrance, a myrtle pools, anemone woods, and bullet beach. Oh, so many places we have to explore. I love it. Oh, and we can do a jumpy right there. Let's... Oh. I'm not sure you're going to be happy if we steal this thing. Hmm, it looks like a berry should go here. Oh, okay, it's actually like a silhouette. Huh. Are you gonna wake up if I go up to you? I excuse me. Please don't need me. Yes. Oh, um, can you please move? Food. Food? Um, no food here, but you're kind of in the way. No, then no. Aha. Okay, so we need a berry before we can get through there. Cool. Hello. Hello? Is there a river nearby? Yep. Oh, where is it? Right through this tunnel. Oh no. You're talking about this one with that lizard in it, aren't you? Yep. He is a big old fella, taking a big old nap. But I've got to pass through there. It might be my only way home. Have you tried waking it up? Kinda. Tried asking it to move earlier, but it just responded with food or leave. I'm not trying to get eaten today, so I peaced out. So then it's just a little hungry? Yep. And grumpy. Maybe I can lure it out with some food then. Worth a shot. I saw a blueberry around here earlier, but bet this big fella would like that. Oh, where is it? I think someone is hoarding one over by Myrtle Pools. It's a pretty chill spot. Just follow the path up this hill. 
Okay, thanks for the help. Yep. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Any luck finding that blueberry? Uh, let's say nothing yet. It's out there somewhere. We already got some location ideas, right? Can we get up here? There's nothing up there. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need to go this way, but let's just look around here a little bit first, just to see what's going on. Oh, what's in here? Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey, seen any purple crystals around here? Well, I uh, because they're very powerful. Really? They just seem like regular crystals to me. Fool. They hold great power, power that only mushrooms can harness. Oh, well, I'm indeed a mushroom. Yes, yes, an interesting species specimen, but I'll take more than it'll take more than that. You must acquire an augmenter to use its power. Are you paying attention? Yes, yes, I am. So something about an augmenter. Precisely. Find an augmenter. Combine your purple crystals with it and watch yourself transform. Oh, sounds pretty cool. The power of the crystals is cool. R right. You want. These augmenters are not so easily found, but the purple crystals share their knowledge with me. They speak to you. In riddles, yes. Transcripts of where these augmenters may be. So speak to me if you wish to access such powerful knowledge. Oh, okay, thanks. Now then, what would you like to know? Ooh, okay. Purple Augmenter. One of the shrines holds something divine. What would you like to know? Oh, one of the shrines holds something divine. So I guess that's just... We're just gonna have to run around with some flowers, right? And find some shrines. Uh, okay, so Strawberry Augmenter. Juicy, sweet, and red strawberries fill her head. Sounds like we're gonna need to find a, some person or creature for that, right? Then there's a flower augmenter. She treasures the flower shrines adorned with colors divine. Hmm, sounds like some someone who loves flowers. Okay. Oh, let's read that again. She treasures the flower shrines adorned with colors divine. Well, we already met someone who is uh, tracking the flower shrine, so that might be who we're talking about. Adorn with colors divine. So are we supposed to adorn her with the colors or the shrines with colors? I'm kind of thinking maybe we have to make sure to fill all the flower shrines because that's how you adorn them with f colors, right? All the flowers have colors. And then maybe she will give us a... A uh, flower augmenter. Mm. Secret augmenter. A locked door with a mystery in store. Oh. Okay. So that was just one of the shrines. Someone with strawberries. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget the power of the crystals is cool. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Okay. We need to fill some flower shrines. Oh, man. We're going to be so busy here. On our way home, new mushroom discovered, right? That's these ones. Oh, nice. Let's just have a little look here and see. Pifoloma capnoides or something. About this mushroom, this species grows in clusters on decaying wood and is easily spotted with its cinnamon to orange caps. Take caution when foraging for this species as they're easily confused with the poisonous Sulfur tuft mushroom. Ooh. Okay, so these are always growing in groups. I wonder if they ever get tired of each other. Like what happens if they get in a fight? They just have to stare at each other and get over it. That's a good point. Actually. I wouldn't I wouldn't really like living like this myself. Hmm. What happens if we Oh Oh, this one rains too. It kind of rains a little brown or orangey dust. <laughs> um, I just wanted to see if there was anything kind of up here. If we tried to climb. Okay, that's not working very, very well. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. 
Can I get that? <laughs> we did get up. Uh -huh. Okay, and it's called a grade, right? Right. I had to look it up. I couldn't remember what the, what this thingy was called. Well, this was this is a different one, but the one by the water, right? That the water was flowing through. I couldn't remember what it's called in English, but uh, it seems to be called a grade, a drainage grade, right? Yes, which makes perfect sense now that I hear the word, but I just couldn't come up with it before. Oh, yep, that happens sometimes. Oh, look at that. I wonder if this is a locked door that we were supposed to... I think what this needs isn't in this forest, right? That looks like a do locked door, so maybe this is one of the places where we can uh, get a purple crystal. Hmm, okay, and then there's this place. Maybe there's a way to cut these vines. Well, we do have a tool, but uh, that's not for cutting, that's for smashing. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we work on this? We cannot work on the leaves, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so let's have a little look around. Oh, there's so many places to go, look at that. There's also a place up there where it looks like we're gonna have to cut something to get in doesn't that look like a purple crystal it's kind of glittering right over there huh. let's see if we can go over there what oh look at that there's some other types of flowers maybe there's a um there's a um a shrine nearby here for the purple flowers that would make sense wouldn't it oh what is this Stuck in the dirt. Oh, it looks like a lighter. Oh, I don't think we want to play with that mush mushy because that is gonna um, burn us. Yep, no good. So let's try and see if we can we get up here. But that's purple. Okay, so I thought we needed to. Oh right, it was to get the augmenter right. That's why we had to do the riddles. Yes, yes, yes. We need an augmenter. The purple crystals we can find. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so here we have the shrine. Now the question is where we can get a flower. Oh, let's grab this. I don't know what we need the green crystals for then, but I guess we'll find out. We're just going to hoard them and then I'm sure eventually we'll find a use for them. Oh, 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 give me last one. Yes, thank you. Do, do, do. So have any of you guys played this game before? Ooh. Oh, can we just... Yes, there we go. Here we go. Oh, so cute. We love these types of games. It's just so adorable and relaxing. Oh, see? Okay, so we can get a flower in here. Hmm, it's not a purple one, though. I was expecting it to be a purple one. But I guess it doesn't necessarily match. Oh, it might be going over there, right? It looks like... <laughs> uh, yep, okay, so that can go there. We found... Oh, that was the shrine. Uh, but I'm still thinking there might be... A... Which one did we do? We did the yellow one, right? Uh, looks like there's a big pond over there. There's all kind of, oh, I'm gonna get so lost here. I got get completely turned around. Oh, myrtle pools. This is where we are supposed to find a blueberry, which we have right here. Nice. Just want to see if there's something over here. Go up before we talk to you. Oh, that leads back. Oh. Oh, more people. <laughs> there's so many places to get lost in here. Man. Oh, what is that up there? Is that like an improvised elevator or something? Oh, I mean. Okay. Hey, hi, hello. Hi. My senses are tingling. Your senses? Yes, yes. I'm trying to collect these old circular relics. I think they were the currency of a past civilization. Or they were some sort of frisbee. Still researching, of course. Oh, well, good luck with that. But I'm sensing two more of these relics in this area. I really need them for my research. Where are they? Hmm. I sense they're somewhere higher up. Too high for me to reach. <sighs> Why are my arms so short? 
Whoa, take it easy. I can find them for you. Oh, well, thank you, kind stranger. Don't thank me yet. Let me see if I can get them for you first. How many did you say there were again? There should be two more around here, according to my senses. Right, your senses. I'll be back then. Uh, okay. What is this? Kind of looks like a coin or something. Oh, okay, interesting. Is there anything in the water? Can we actually dive? No, it doesn't look like we can dive. Uh, even though it kind of looks like, oh, it's a pot. Interesting. Oh, we have to go back to that person with the blueberry. <laughs> mm, well, it looks like there's a little corner over here. Let's just check that out first. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. Aha, it triggered the elevator. Nice. Okay, well, before I get even sucked, sucked into uh, going even further away, let's just make sure to go back over here. Because we needed that uh, blue mushroom, even though I don't think I want to go through that tunnel yet. Because that might be like the next new area, right? Um, and I kind of want to see if I can complete the things that are here first before we leave. Unless we have to leave to do some things, but so far it doesn't seem like it. Oh man! What a vibing day! Yeah, it's really nice out. Hanging by the water with my blue bee that I worked so hard to get. Yes siree, doesn't get better than this. Blue bee? Yeah man, you know, blue bee, short for blueberry. Oh, oh wait, would you by any chance give me one? I really need it for something. Give my blue bee? Man, I love this thing. Don't think I could just give it up. Oh, I understand, but... I've been vibing with those green crystals lately. You down for a trade, little mushroom dude? Say, 60 crystals for my berry. Um, well, I don't have enough. Oh, hold up, man. Looks like you're short of crystals. Come back when you have at least 60, and we've got a deal. Uh, okay, but we have like 42 or something, so we are on the right track. Oh, there's a different kind of mushroom. Let's make sure to get that add it right so let's see we need to go in here okay so volvo plutius gloiocephalus man the names about this mushroom yes 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 this large mushroom is commonly known as the big sheath mushroom or sheath mushroom with a cap of about 5 to 15 centimeters in diameter the top of this mushroom's cap is markedly sticky when fresh, so touch with care. Oh no, I hope we're not gonna be stuck now. Uh, I tried saying the name of this mushroom quickly three times in a row. It was a lot harder than I thought. Cool mushroom though. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna try that. Volvoplutius gloiocephalus. Volvoplutius gloiocephalus. Volvoplutius gloiocephalus. Man. I can say it, but <laughs> it's almost impossible to say it fast. Hmm, okay, well, let's see. This is gonna, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, yep, uh, this is what I wanted to do. Oh, we have to go back to the elevator too. Uh, here we go. Ah, oh, there's so many places. See, there's also a place in there. And we have to find something to cut with, right? Ooh, let's see where this takes us. Oh, come on. Hang on. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's another new mushroom. Oh, look at this. It's like a big umbrella. Like a, a sun parasol. Do we call it parasol in English too? Yes, you do, maybe. A sol is what we would call it. Like the, the ones you use on the beach. That so you can hang out in the shade, right? Um, let's see. Macro Macrol Piota Procera. Hmm. This massive mushroom is commonly referred to as the parasol. It is called a parasol mushroom. They are often found solitary in pastures and woodlands. However, they're known to form in fairy rings. I've actually heard that before, which is a naturally occurring ring or arch, 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 arch of mushrooms. Whoa, these are just perfect umbrellas. I feel so safe under the shade of these beauties. Thank you, parasol shroomy. Aw, look at that. Oh, 
And actually, I don't even have to click that little uh, rotating arrow. I can just move my uh, move my mouse around, and then you can actually kind of look around like this. I didn't even notice that with the others. Oh, that is actually really cool. Look at that. What does it say? Oh, yummy something, I think, on, this, on the can there. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Nice. That is just such a neat little detail. I really like that. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Okay, well, we found four so far. Let's try and there was also some on the other side. Something on the other side, I think. Oh, wasn't there? I thought I saw something over here, but maybe not. Hey there! A mushroom using the strength of the winds. That's not something you see every day. Oh, you mean my leaf glider? It's been pretty useful, but it could be better, yes? Hmm, I'm gonna say yes. Allow me to help then. How? Us forest wisps use the essence of wind. It breathes through the forest, bringing and taking life as it passes. Whoa, that's really mystical. Yes, very mystical indeed. Here, take some of mine. Oh, we got an essence of wind. My glider feels a little stronger. I should find more. Oh, nice. So I guess we can glide further now. That is cool. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, little mushroom. Oh, nice. Do you have anything else to say? Stay observant in the forest, little mushroom. What, what do you mean? Us forest wisps often keep to ourselves, and we stay high up to feel the forest breathe. So you'll need to look closely if you want to find us. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Ah, that kind of gave us a little tip that maybe we have to look up, but I don't think there is that much up there. Like, I think this is kind of the top of where we can go. You can see everything else is kind of below us. And we look around, at least everything we can explore here. Uh, I, still f I felt like I saw a crystal over here, but I guess I didn't. Huh. Okay. Oh, yes. So what do we have to do? We have to... How many crystals do I have? Uh, I have 44. Okay, so we need to find 60 crystals. And... Oh, hello. Let's go down here. Of the green crystals, of course. And we need to find a blueberry. We have to go and check out the elevator as well. Oh, yes. So many things. And we have to find... Yeah, we have to find something to cut with, right? Oh, I see a green one. I see a green one. Whee! Go here. Okay, so we can go around there, but I kind of want... Oh, there's also something underneath. Can I get up here? Oh, I love that you can hang on, hang on even on this little ledge here. You can kind of hang on to it. So, ooh, here we go. Let's grab these. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, man, it's gonna take me forever to get through this because <laughs> so many things to discover. Oh, look at that! There's all this stuff over here. I don't think we no, we've not been over there yet. Where was the? I'm getting so far away. Where was the elevator? Oh, it looks like there's something. No, it's just there's nothing in there. Um, it was somewhere behind you. Right. So let's just oh go here. Yeah, it was over there. Okay, well, we are going to end this right here, guys. We're going to continue this next time before I get too lost in uh, in running around here. But oh, this is so much fun. I do love uh, exploring and hoarding stuff and just helping all these nice uh, characters. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.